Hello, everyone. Uh, we're doing today chapter four. I hope to get all of chapter four done for you very soon today because uh, your long delayed midterm is just going to be a couple of days away. So anyhow, moving right into chapter four. Chapter four, the topic of chapter four is job analysis. Job analysis, quite simply, is asking the question, what exactly do we need each worker to do? What are the duties we want them to perform? And which of these duties should get a priority? So job analysis is a very key part of human resources, and that's why your book dedicates a whole chapter to it. So when they're doing job analysis, they're trying to figure out what is it we want each worker to do. And so from that, they need to collect a lot of information. So I'm going to tick down, this is from your slides in your book, I'm going to go down the, these list of activity, the list of things that they want to, information they want to gather for a job analysis. So, types of so again, the topic is types of information collected. And in the types of information collected, they want to know what are the activities that every employee does? What is it that an employee does? What, are their, what do they do? They want to know what are the human behaviors. Human behaviors are like, what are the attitudes needed to perform the job? So if you are going to be a receptionist, you need to be friendly to whoever is coming in. Uh, maybe the person needs, maybe we need somebody who is detail oriented because it's a job where you have to go through numbers um, and analyze and so forth. So what are the behaviors we need of the person we are wanting to hire. Machines, tools, etc. Is there any type of specialized equipment needed to perform the job? So if you're going to be uh, a saw operator, if a person's going to be a saw operator, then they need to have the skills to operate that saw properly. Um, if you're going to be an analyst, for if you're a finance student and you're going to be an analyst, then you need to have certain Excel skills or certain whatever. So what are, the, what are those specialized things that you will need? What are the performance standards? So how, would we, how are we going to look at the person in this job and say, this person's doing a great job, this person's doing a medium job, and this person's doing a bad job. So how would we describe excellent performance in this job? A company needs good job performance. A company needs to have the standards for a good job performance for an employee. Job context. Job context is looking at what are the working conditions of the employee. What is, what is the, what's the environment they're going to be in? Uh, are they going to be standing all day? Are they going to be sitting at a computer all day? What are, in what environment, what world is this employee going to be working in? Human requirements. This is similar to what we had above in human behaviors. The human requirements are what are the certain skills in employee, that the employees will need in order to be able to perform well in the job? Uh, an example, uh, a friend of mine was a um, HR manager of a pet store in America, and one of the things that he had as a job requirement for employees was that they have to be able to lift very heavy bags of cat and dog food, okay? So the human requirement here is truly saying to be able to do this job well, you have to have these certain level of skills. Uh, lifting 20 kilograms on a regular basis for some stocking shelves at Carrefour, um, needing to have good communication skills uh, for those who are teachers. Um, these, are, these are human requirements that we need for the employee. So the job analysis allows HR to create a job description and a job specification. Now, Students often confuse the difference between job description and job specification. So I'm going to do my best here to try to explain the difference. A detailed, 
a job description is a detailed explanation of what is expect of what somebody is expected to do in the job. It includes things like what are the responsibilities on the job? What, what is it you're expected to do? Um, who the employee reports to? Who's going to be your, who's, who are you going to be reporting to in the organization? What are the expectations of the employee? Uh, what is it, what do, what do we expect you to do? That's all in the job description. Also in the job description is job specifications. Job specifications explains what are the necessary levels of skills that a person needs to have before they can be hired? So what is the education level, for example? Uh, what, what is the number of years of experience that we expect? What are the physical communication skills, the things I listed above of human requirements? Those are job specifications. So to be clear, the term job description Job description is, for most companies, a long, detailed explanation of this is what everything we expect of the employee, how we're going to measure performance, what is a good employee. This is, it's a long, detailed explanation. And the book has, the book and slides have examples of uh, job descriptions. Job specifications is part of job descriptions, and job specifications very specifically explain what level of skill the person needs before they're hired, and it explains what level of experience, physical attributes, all these things. These are the things that are needed for the person to be good in the job pretty much before you even hire them, okay? So there is a difference between job description and job specifications, and I, I hope I made that clear. Um, now, in the book, they have the seven, in slide seven uh, in, the, in your packet of slides shows the steps in creating a job analysis. Um, quite honestly, uh, I cover that in class. I'm not gonna cover it again in this review. Um, and it is very important, but since this is an introductory human resources class, I'm going to just skip it for anything you're gonna be tested on in this class. If you take the upper level courses, they will go in depth on this, I promise. And I think that is where I need to stop this video. So stay tuned for part two.